Ay, 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 ay. Uh, hi, hello. Welcome to another episode of Music Lessons with Mr. Gear. Today's lesson is going to be on <sighs> instrumentation. First, we're going to review instrument families and the differences between instruments, the building blocks of instrumentation. Then we're going to learn what instrumentation is exactly, and I'm going to give us some examples of different kinds of instrumentation that are common. And like always, we're going to finish with why composers choose the instrumentations they do. Let's get into it. Hit the intro. Within the word instrumentation is the word instrument. So before we talk about instrumentation, let's do a quick review of instruments and instrument families. All of the instruments are broken up and grouped into four or five different categories, or families. Musical instruments are grouped and broken up into these families based on how they make sounds. Before we go over those families, I don't really have many instruments up here, so we have to go down to my music studio, where I keep all of my instruments. Cool. Welcome to my music studio slash laundry room slash basement. Let's get started with all the instrument families. I'm going to show you all the instruments that I have from each of the families, and anytime I don't have one of the instruments, I'll try to put up a picture or a video. Instrument family number one, the woodwinds. The woodwinds instruments are any instrument that you have to blow air through. They can be made of wood, plastic, or metal. Some woodwind instruments require a little piece of wood called a reed. You blow into the reed, it vibrates, and that's how the sound is made. Other instruments just have a hole that you blow air across or into to make the sound. Some examples of woodwind instruments are the flute. This is a wooden flute that I have. The recorder. The clarinet. And the saxophone. Some other instruments in the woodwinds family that I don't have are the oboe, the piccolo, and the bassoon. Instrument family number two, the brass family. The brass family is any instrument that you have to buzz your lips into. Every instrument in the brass family has one of these little metal cups called a mouthpiece. If you blow into the mouthpiece, it makes no noise. But if you buzz your lips into them like this, that's how the sound is made on a brass instrument. Some examples of brass instruments, the trumpet. The trombone, the French horn, and the tuba. Instrument family number three, the strings. The strings family consists of any instrument that has strings. Some instruments include the violin, a viola, which is slightly bigger than a violin, a cello, which is even bigger than a viola, and a bass, which is so big that you have to stand with it. Instruments like the violin, viola, cello, and bass have to use what's called a bow. A bow is a long stick that has hairs on it that you drag across the strings to make the noise. Many other instruments in the strings family don't need a bow. You can use your fingers or you can use a pick. Some of those instruments include guitar, ukulele, the banjo, The electric bass, which is very similar to the bowed bass, but it needs an amplifier. And many people's favorite, the electric guitar. <laughs> instrument family number four, the percussion family. The percussion family consists of any instrument you have to shake, hit, or scratch. Egg shakers the tambourine, bells, the guiro, the 
clave, the triangle, the cowbell, cymbals, and many different kinds of drums. A strange instrument that I have that's part of the percussion family is called the rain stick. If you flip the rain stick upside down, it should sound like rain. And our last family is the electronic instrument or keyboard family. This family consists of any instrument that has keys. The computer is also used in a lot of modern music to make pop, rap, and hip hop, and is considered part of this family as well. Now that we've reviewed the instrument families and the instruments, let's talk about instrumentation. Instrumentation is quite simple. It's the particular group of instruments chosen for a song or a piece. With what seems like an endless number of instruments, a composer has so many options for which instruments they want to choose for their piece or their song. But here's some common instrumentations. The string quartet. The string quartet has four different string instruments. Usually it has two violins, one viola, and one cello. Quartet means four instruments playing together. Woodwind trio. A woodwind trio has three woodwind instruments playing together. Usually they have one clarinet, one flute, and one bassoon. This particular one has an oboe, a bassoon, and a clarinet. The orchestra. The orchestra is one of the biggest ensembles there are. Ensemble means many instruments playing together, anywhere from 50 to 100 people. The orchestra also uses all four families of instruments. It uses the percussion family, the brass family, the strings family, and the woodwinds family. Orchestras and large ensembles have so many people and so many instruments that there's a conductor to keep everyone together. So I guess naturally the next question would be, how does a musician or a composer choose the instruments for their instrumentation? For the answer to that question, let's do an experiment. I'm going to try to create the sounds of a thunderstorm only using my body. The first time I can only use one sound. Tapping on my lap. If you close your eyes, it kind of sounds like rain. Now the second time, I'm going to use multiple different sounds using different parts of my body and I'm going to put them together. Hopefully that will make the sound of a rainstorm or a thunderstorm a little bit more accurately. Okay, so that sounded a little bit better. It started with some wind, and then it went to light rain, heavy rain, and then thunder and lightning with my clapping. The point is, an orchestra, or a wind ensemble, or a band has multiple instruments, and multiples of each of those instruments, because it gives a composer more options, more colors, and more sounds to work with to express their idea for their song or piece. Let's do a quick review of everything that we learned in this video. There are four different instrument families that are grouped by the way that the instruments make sound. The brass family is any instrument you have to buzz your lips into. The woodwinds family is any instrument that you have to blow into. The strings family is any instrument with strings. And the, the percussion family is any instrument you hit scratch or shake. Instrumentation is the particular group of instruments that are chosen for a piece or a song. A composer decides the instrumentation, how many instruments and which instruments, based on what they want the music to sound like. And that's it for today's lesson. I hope you enjoyed it and that you learned something and I will see you next week.